going to sign the ticket? Uh, well, yeah, I have to sign the ticket, but I don't have to give you my social or my phone number. I'm not giving you any other information other than what I've given you. You're not going to give me a phone number? I'm not legally required to give you one, man. I'd like to be on my way. Is that okay? I've given him everything he needs, man. I just want to be on my way. He's ran my information. I'm assuming I came back clean, did I not? So what's the hold up? Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. Today's story was submitted by a viewer named Mr. Brewer. His residence is located in a rural area, and because there are no streetlights, he installed high-powered LED headlights on his truck. On a recent evening, he was driving home and to be courteous of his neighbors and other drivers, he shut off his headlights and was using the vehicle's running lights to illuminate his path. But no good deed goes unpunished, and not long into his travels, he was pulled over by a uniformed officer of the Hansville Police Department, aware that he had violated the Alabama Motor Vehicles and Traffic Code. He didn't argue the citation. It was only when the officer asked Mr. Brewer's wife, the passenger, for her identification that he challenged the officer's fishing expedition by refusing to identify. The officer returned to his vehicle to write a citation, and now that the traffic stop had gotten weird, Mr. Brewer begins recording. Here's your driver's license and insurance card back, okay? Uh, what is a good phone number for you? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to give you that, man. You're not going to give me your phone number? I'm not legally required to give you my phone number. I've given you everything I'm legally required to give you. What about your social security number? Don't I'm me. not legally required to give you that. You can't ask that of me. Okay. Can I get another minute? <clears throat> All right, well, um, I've, I've given you everything I'm legally required to give you, and I'm not going to answer any more questions. Mr. Brewer has now refused to provide his phone number and social security number to the officer. During a lawful traffic stop, you are required to provide your driver's license, registration, and insurance, but most departments will ask you for more identifying information. Typically, their ticketing system has fields that the department trains their officers to fill out. Often, this includes a phone number and social security number. However, neither are required by law. Furthermore, passengers do not need to identify themselves unless they are suspected of criminal activity or are receiving a citation such as a seatbelt or littering ticket. Some officers see this challenge to their authority as suspicious, rather than realizing it is just a citizen exercising their Fourth Amendment rights. In this case, the officer sees the authority check as threatening, and even though the ticket is written, ready to be signed, and the traffic stop ended, he calls for another unit. All right, well, are you gonna sign the ticket? Uh, well, yeah, I have to sign the ticket, but I don't have to give you my social or my phone number, man. I'm not required to give you that. Okay. Well, but you can take me to jail if I don't sign the ticket, so I have to sign the ticket. Yeah, yeah. so you obviously know that, right? Yes, I know that. I have to sign the ticket, okay, but well, I'm not giving you any other information other than what I've given you. You're not going to give me a phone number? I'm not legally required to give you one, man. I'm not going to give you anything I'm not legally required to give you. I've given you everything I've legally required to give you. I've done everything I'm legally required to do. I'd like to be on my way. Is that okay? All right, well, I need you to sign this. That's okay. I will sign that. Just before handing over the citation and allowing Mr. Brewer to be on his way, the officer returns to his vehicle again. He was fixed to hand me a ticket and then he got a call on the radio and then he went back to the back to his car. And they're not, they're not, they're not, that's a violation of federal law. They can't ask you for your social. They can't demand it of you. They can ask you, but they can't demand it of you. But that's not required for It's not required. I gave him everything I'm legally required to give him, and that's all he's getting. A few minutes pass, and a second unit arrives on scene. What's up, man? How's it going? What's up? What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. Just trying to figure out what's going on with this. I'd is. like to get my ticket and be on the way. He said he was writing me a time. I mean, he was literally handing me the ticket, and then he went back and got in his car. I don't know what the holdup is, man. Okay. Let's, I don't know. Yeah. I've been here for 20 minutes. I done signed the ticket. I gave him everything I'm signed legally required. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. I've given him everything he needs, man. I just want to be on my way. He asked for my wife's ID, and I told him she's not legally required to ID, which she's not. And then he asked, no, hold on. Then he asked me for my social. That's a that's federal law. He he can't demand my social from me. That's a violation of federal law. In the state of Alabama, it's a stop and identify state, so technically he can ask for her ID as well. No, that's that the scope of his authority stops at me. I'm the driver. It doesn't matter what the state is and what the ID law is. She has to commit a crime, or you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime in order to get her ID. She's a passenger in the vehicle. He pulled me over for, for, a, for a headlight violation. He's written me my ticket. I'd like to be on my way. He's ran my information. I'm assuming I came back clean, did I not? So what's the hold up? I'd like to be on my way. There's no hold up. Can, you sign the ticket. I mean, I'm good. good. Then we're good, right? I'd like to be on my way. You're good. Coke, so I'm free to go? Yes, sir. Thank you. Y'all yes, have a good evening. The phrase stop and ID state has been wildly misinterpreted over the years, leading some to believe that there is a state in the U.S. that allows officers to identify anyone they want with absolutely no reason. The truth is, many states have stop and identify statutes. However, a stop and ID state still requires reasonable articulable suspicion, probable cause, or a lawful traffic stop to forcibly identify someone. The sheer ignorance of the officer believing he can identify someone just because shows how authoritarian law enforcement has become. He obviously didn't research the ID laws of his state. He was likely trained by another gravely misinformed officer. What's worse than their lack of education is their belief that not only can they randomly ID people, but that they should be allowed to do it. It goes against the tenets of the Fourth Amendment and the oaths they swore, and is stupendously un-American. Please remember to always film from the moment you are stopped. If you can't remember to hit record, get a dash cam. A big thanks to Mr. Brewer for submitting this video. Leave him a message of support support down below and please share this video. It greatly helps the channel. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.